What's going on, y'all? It's your big homie, Big Bad A, man. It's the Real Talk, Real Shit Podcast. And like always, hey, big man, like always, thank y'all for coming. Appreciate you for tuning in because you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, so I got you. And, um, on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about something. You can come here with me. You can come in here with me. Yes, come on. Let's sit down and do it. Yeah. All right. Now, um, and this is right here. Just show. This is what the video is gonna be about. It's gonna be about everybody talking about 2020 this, 2020 that, all this stuff going on. Of course, we got a lot going on with the C virus and everything. But with everything going on, I would say this was the best year of my life. Now, uh, before you click off the video, let me explain that to you. For one, this is the freest year of my life. Thank God um, for everything that happens. And um, if you stay down and you pay attention to the world and you don't try to uh, be in your own little bubble like they're trying to put everybody in right now. If you try to not to be in your own little bubble and on, in your head so much. You could stay tuned and stay uh, current with the world and adjust to whatever's going on in the world. And um, by that, I mean, I if you paid attention to the world and anything going on, this C virus thing was happening in China in, in January, right? Yeah, around January, November, uh, what's that, December or January, right around that time. Um. A lot of y'all don't pay attention to the world and events around the world. Y'all worry about celebrities and bull crap and the stuff that they put right in front of your face. And uh, that's why you can't see it coming. What's up? They put babies on the, they put babies on the, um, the alcohol. Yeah. And then they put, they put those babies and then. Yeah, they put the babies in the food and everything. You're right. Good job. How you know that? Um, How you know that? Um, uh, How you know about that? Um, uh, anyway, anyway, um, like I said, it's a lot going on, and if you don't uh, stay in tune with the game and stay in, adjusted and go, keeping um, current, you ain't gonna make it. This world is meant to be lived in. And it's not just meant to be lived in autopilot. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you pay attention to the world, everything that's happening now has been happening since the beginning of time. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Everything that's happening now has been going on since the beginning of time. Um, there's nothing new under the sun. You, I know you've heard that term before. And you like with all these viruses and everything that's going on, this type of stuff is, is, is happening all the time. And another thing I want y'all to be aware of how they're trying to promote this this uh this virus thing like it's all uh the end of the world and everything i'm gonna just tell you something so far in in america there's been a, a they said about a hundred and eighty thousand deaths or something like that yeah less than two hundred thousand deaths is where we're at right now and i'm just gonna be all the way honest with you that should not have warranted a, um a worldwide lockdown, a worldwide shutdown, and a worldwide pandemic. And I'm going to tell you why that is. Every year in America, uh, uh, right under 4.4 4 million people die every year in America. 3.9 million people, I believe. Google it and check it out for yourself. But 3.9 million people die in America every year. Every year from, from all various reasons. And we're worrying about 180,000 people. That is, is something big for y'all to think about. And another thing big to think about, it's almost like uh, these are what we're living in now is segregation times. Nobody's talking about it, but you got all these racial divides going on. I mean, people are talking about it. You got these racial divides going on. I got, thank you, baby. You got these social divides going on with essential workers and non-essential workers. Now you have a physical divide going on where you have to have masks. And, and I'm going to tell you something about this. You have to have masks to go inside stores and everything, and which is like a, a mandate from your uh, local governments. Now, I'm going to just break that down to you. 
that is the first step of you not being allowed into a store from some type of restriction or reason. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be all the way 100. The vaccines are on the way. They're on the way. There. Um. I heard Donald Trump talking about it last night, where he was talking about him coming in the middle of October. They was scheduled to come out talking about it in November, the beginning of November. Now they're talking about October, the middle of October. So with everything coming so fast and everything, once those come out after a given period of time, we won't even be able to be able to be allowed to participate in society without taking them. And um, if you don't believe me, that's something that's been put. That's something that's been put in every in every form of media. It's been put in every news news questionnaire. It's been put in everything to where they're saying if you don't take the uh, vaccine, you won't be able to participate in the, the, the community's activities. Like banking, store, school, working, traveling. traveling. Thank you, baby. You'll be, a, um, you'll be an outcast in your own society. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Once they make this great divide, even the people with the uh, quote-unquote who have the virus... They'll still live. These people are not going to die. This is the bullshit. Once they tell you these people have it and these people don't and they split people up, the people who quote unquote have it or or con contracted it or whatever or have had it, they're going to still be alive. And then, let me prove that right now. All these famous celebrities, The Rock talking about he had it. Mayor Cromo, uh... Uh, no, not Mel. Mayor Cromo's brother, the little dude on CNN, had it. Um, who? The mayor of Atlanta had it. The black woman. The uh, president of um, of uh, UK had it. The Boris, the white guy with the with the crazy hair. All these people had coronavirus, right? But guess what? They're still living. They're still living. This just goes to show you. This is a system that they're putting out there to. To scare people to sell you into these vaccines. Um, and quote unquote, after the vax, I mean, not quote unquote, and after the vaccines, a new way of life, a new America, a new living, a new world order. You get what I'm saying? This is not hard to see. A lot of y'all just don't know the world and what really goes on because y'all don't study the past. Y'all don't study into the future because the majority of y'all are thinking about the now. Like, uh, and it's insanity because you can only see what's in front of you in your face instead of seeing ahead and thinking ahead and living to be in the future. You know, and also, thank you, baby. Also looking at the past to see where people went wrong into the future. Because I'm going to tell y'all a key thing. And this is an American thing. And I'm going to put you on this. If anybody's watching my video, you got this far. This is very key and integral to the way America is controlled. Yeah, we're sipping, we're sipping cappuccino. So anyway, um, America is controlled intricately by weather and water. For anybody who understands anything, the government has had control or the powers that be have had control of the weather for decades. Even back in the, um, your boy Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, and them were shooting cannonballs in the sky. Even the Indians were shoot, putting smoke in the sky to make the clouds heavier to make it rain. This is simple science. This is not nothing far-fetched. Y'all just don't understand life. So look, with water and weather, it's how they control it. If you have a new settlement, a, a group of people who settle in a place that you don't want to be there, as a as a um a evil ass devil, all you have to do is break a levy, flood out the place. Now I'm gonna put y'all on some real game. Every year there's floods. Every year there's hurricane season. How come these hurricanes only come certain time of year every year? And I don't want to hear no scientific um bullshit. Tell me some. Put it in the comment section. Some data, facts of how everything is so seasonal and perfect every year, which I understand the world has its season as a natural balance, but I'm talking about hurricane season, Christmas season. Ha like, bruh, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, now, you got these hurricanes and these waters. All these people have to do is flood out these rural areas, these 
any area where they don't want people to be at and they want you to resettle or relocate or remove, they flood motherfuckers out. That's been going on since the Indian times. It's been going on since slavery times. It's been going on because I'm going to tell you something. Black people have always owned land in America. Black people were always indigenous here in America, but they flood us the fuck out and make us migrate. And they flood us out, burn us out, starve us out, and ma or... They use mandates to do that. Yeah, government mandates and all that. You know, they. this is a systematic thing they do to control us, push us out, and get us out the way. So, we, like, say even if you owned a plot of land, right? 20 acres of land somewhere in Midland, Midland, um, Eastern North Carolina. Once your ass is... Once your ass owns your land and you out there got your crops and everything going, they'll drought your land, they'll flood your land, or they'll tornado your land. They'll do all that to your land, get you up off your land so you'll, so they can reclaim the land. In America, you will never, we will never have what we're supposed to have. All that 40 acres in the mule that they promised black people, we will never get that here in America. I don't even think there's enough, well, there is probably enough land in the countryside, but how they got us condensed in these city pockets like that is not enough land in these small city pockets where we stacked on top of each other like fucking sardines. You get what I'm saying? Um, Y'all have to wake up and smell the fucking coffee. We will never, ever, ever, ever be in no kind of power in here in America. Because here in America, this shit is too systematically gridded up. It's too built like street signs, stop signs, street lights, stores, schools. They got you from the time you're born to the time you die. Matter of fact, they're gonna hang, they're gonna rock your ass to sleep. The first off, when you come out, they're gonna shoot you with a, a vaccine that does God knows what. Does God knows what? Then they want you, you got to bring your baby back and a yearly check. You got to bring them and bring them and bring them and vaccine them, 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 vaccine them. Mama, mama, I'm hungry. Mama, I'm thirsty. Mama, mama. Do you have any, is your baby like that? Is your baby on a low vibration like? Yeah, uh-huh, this and that. If it's the if that's the case, it's the fucking vaccines, my nigga. You don't realize. If your baby's not talking by one year old, my son was walking and talking at 10 months. No vaccines. Only the one that they fucking gave him in the hospital, whatever they did to him before they let me have him. Vitamin K, that's it. Vitamin K and hepatitis E, B, whatever my wife said. But whatever they did to him there, that's it. After that, he's my child, bro. I'm telling y'all. And my baby's is high vibrational. This boy is three years old. He acts like a grown man. You know what I'm saying? He's he's a grown man, but he's a child. But his mind is there. My seven-year-old daughter. Exactly. My seven-year-old daughter, grown woman. She's a child. But her mentality, you know why we don't put them in boxes, sit down and stay in a child's place, shut up and get over there. A child does have his place, but the place of a child is supposed to be right there where the parents to learn, to learn how are they going to be adults if we're not showing them how to be adults. If we treat them as dogs and children, that's what they're going to be and grow like dogs and children. Putting leashes on our babies, putting our babies in boxes, you know, those little pins, those little cage play pins that the, the gate, you put your baby behind a gate and lock them in the kitchen like a fucking dog. Y'all niggas is not worth, bruh, majority of y'all is not worthy. I'm telling you, majority of y'all is not worthy. So go ahead and get ready for Mr. Charlie's vaccine. Get ready for it. Get ready for Uncle Sam's vaccine, because it coming your way, my nigga. And I bet you, your weak ass is not going to refuse it. I bet you, your weak ass is ready to go back to work. I'm just going to be real. I ain't been to work in about seven motherfucking months. And I don't have to go to work if I don't choose to go to work. And my wife haven't been to work in over a year. And we don't have to go to work if we don't choose to go to work. I'll go to work if I want something to do and some pocket money. 
I'm going to tell you for real. I'm free for real, bruh. I'm the one you should be listening to and following behind for real. I'm the only one who can show you how to get to freedom and taste freedom. I've been free. Even when I was a slave at the job, I was free. Because they didn't have my body or my mind. I mean, they didn't have my mind and my soul. They just had my body. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. They had my body, but they didn't have my mind and my soul. Never. I tell the motherfucking devil, be gone in a minute. I'm telling you. I don't want nothing you got. I don't want your women. I don't want your money. I don't want your jewelry. I don't want your cars. And I don't want your clothes. I don't want nothing you got. You can keep all of it, Mr. Satan. You can keep all of it. I'm telling you. What I want is my sons. What I want is my daughter. What I want is my wife. My beautiful black family. That's what I want. Until the day I die, that's what I want. So I'm going to just be real. Y'all better wake up and stop being fucking sellouts because these times is... Y'all niggas still want to watch football, basketball, and be entertained? Y'all niggas is dumb. Entertain some bread in your pocket. And once you got some bread in your pocket... Buy something with it. Buy a plot of land. Do something with it, my nigga. Even though they're going to flood your land out and take it from you with a property tax loophole or some bullshit. Because this is not your land. This is, well, I mean, it, it is our land, but they stole it from us. And we ain't going to take it back the way they took it from us. They came over this motherfucker and killed everything on the land. Crow! And we run around asking for fucking peace and equality and mercy. We asking the de the devil himself for mercy? You think the devil's ever going to have mercy for your pussy ass? No, sir. You better raise your son to be a warrior. Tell him, Scott. We're going to beat up the bad guy, ain't we? Tell show him your muscle. Yes, we're going to beat the bad guy up. We ain't spreading no, no mercy for the devil around here, man. It's your big home, big baby. Real talk, real shit podcast, man. Like, share, and subscribe, man. The realest shit you ever gonna hear on the internet because all the rest of these niggas are sellouts.